Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Milky and today I'm going to be reacting to my bestie Chantelle Marie Foodie Beauty. It's been a while since I've done any recorded content so I figured this one-on-one -on -one time with her is really necessary for our friendship. Today we are going to be watching three videos, technically two, she did them, she separated one into two parts, like every great cinematic masterpiece Breaking Dawn Part 1, Breaking Dawn Part 2, Harry Potter Part 1, Harry Potter Part 2, Chantel Marie Grocery Store Part 1, Chantel Marie Grocery Store Part 2. We just couldn't handle it within its entirety. Why do one video when you can earn the AdSense off two? Am I right, Chantel? So we're going to be watching those today. I'm very excited to see what she's going to be getting. It seems that she's moving away from takeout. Pigs really are flying. Hell must have frozen over. She seems to be more focused on cooking at home. So we're going to watch to see what kind of ingredients she gets, what she's planning on making. I'm really interested. If I remember correctly, it is just her and Salah at home. I have seen some clips of what they get. And it's a bit suspect. I'm not going to judge, but I do have just a notepad and some paper just to keep track. You know, I'm not good with the numbers. Um, it's me. I'm an idiot. It's not. It's it's my fault. So I just want to keep track of the things we're getting, uh, just because I'm curious. First video was filmed on November first. Let's get right into it. Chantal, I'm ready. I can't wait. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Hi. So today I have for you guys um, a grocery haul that's done completely online. And uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's done online. I understand that getting groceries delivered is extremely convenient for people, especially those who are, you know, um, have children, work several jobs, work one job, work long hours, you know, getting to the grocery store can be a real pain in the ass if you're maybe mentally or physically disabled. Getting your groceries delivered is extremely convenient. Uh, but Chantel, we just watched you walk around Thailand for four weeks. You were telling us how mobile you were. I saw you make that dash across the street for Paneer, like your life depended on it. I know you've got those high knee movements, so I'm just curious as to why we're maybe not going grocery shopping, you know, anything to get your steps in. But I do need to remember she is very busy doing, um, well, it, Chantel's a very busy woman with all the, uh, there's a lot going on. So maybe it's me. Maybe I'm being a bit judgmental. She really just doesn't have the time in her day to squeezing a trip to the grocery store. My bad, Chantel. Apologies. I'm waiting for part two to come. We ordered from two different places. Some places had some things on sale. Another place had other things on sale. Frugal, so we just love it. But this is just um, a weekly grocery sh grocery shop. Everything from this haul was 25 KD. I'll put the prices here okay. in conversion, US and Canada. Maybe I'll do Australia too. I have some Australian viewers. If you live in a different country, you'd like to know the conversion, let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I got here and put this stuff away at the same time. Um, that was my dish from lunch. I need do you know what? I take back what I said about the grocery store. It seems we don't need to get our steps in. Chantelle seems to be severely out of breath, panting almost. So I figured she probably just got back from a gym run, maybe. Maybe she went to the gym, up and down the steps a few times, maybe a lap around the luxury apartment. Love that for you, Chantelle. Congratulations. I take back what I said. I was wrong. I should start like, doing everything before I go do a video, but whatever. I mean, whatever. So, all right, so I'm gonna unload here. And this one, I don't know if I'm gonna do like two parts or if I'm just gonna do one whole. Part one, one part two, you do it, Bessie. Publish it all at the same, you know what I mean? Get that ad um, sense. I don't know, maybe I'll do two parts, we'll see. Uh, so I have a extra long grain basmati rice, which is the rice we most typically eat here. Um, this is 2 kg. I think it was like a 1 kg 500 fields or something like that. So we have 2 kg of basmati rice. I'm completely out of rice. I'm proud of myself. I pretty much, we pretty much used all of the groceries. There was no wastage, there was no. You used all of the groceries that you paid for? Oh, Chantelle, what a martyr. I'm so proud of you. A 40-year-old woman using all of the food that she paid for is practically unheard of. I feel a bit faint. Nothing. There was no waste. I don't know if waste is just a word, but anyway. So that's the way. It's not. I put my rice down there. <laughs> we nice. have two cases of orange juice. Okay, now. Quick math. So we see, I'm going to work on the lower end of the numbers here. I'm going to be very generous. I'm a generous friend. So we see, we have juice boxes. Very lovely. A nice quick drink for when you're very busy on the go. You just have to grab a quick juice box. I understand. I get it. So we have two boxes. It seems to be on the side. It seems like three boxes on the packaging. So I'm guessing it's three by whatever. I'm going to say five. It could be six. I'm going to go with the lower numbers because, you know, 
why would I go higher with Chantel? Why would I aim higher with Chantel? I'm gonna go with the lower. So two boxes, uh, juice boxes, so five by three equals 15. 15 by the two boxes. Now if you make, yeah, I don't know, have a juice box a day, I'm sure the sugar content's quite high, you know. Sugar can, I don't know if you know this, sugar can rot your teeth. Um, you've got a lovely set of teeth. We don't want them to get, you know, dissolved by the sugar in any way. But you brush your teeth, I'm sure it doesn't matter. So that's 30 juice boxes. If that's a juice box a day for you and Salah, that should last you about 15 days. That's good, two weeks. If you shop, every, I know uh, people who are like couples don't tend to shop as regularly as bigger families do. So, you know, that seems perfectly reasonable, Chantel. These are orange juice boxes and they're really good and they're really cheap as well. So we always get these. So Lo really loves these. Like, you put them a little bit in the freezer and it's really yummy. Oh, lovely. Put them away. Here. I hate putting them oh. in the drink. No, we're not going to put them away. Okay, that's fine. You know what she's doing? She's so clever. By not putting them away now and leaving them, she still gets to take part in the ritual collecting and opening of her addiction. So the whole rush of getting the food, putting the delivery order in, getting it arrive, open it up, being able to visualize your addiction, see everything and knowing it's yours, that you get to consume it at any time. Really taking part in that ritualistic behavior. It's almost self-soothing to her that she gets to go through these bags and touch the food and the consumables that she gets to enjoy without putting it away. Wow. Gunsala, get to it. Leaving Chantel to slave away in the kitchen. Do you guys let your dishes dry on the dry rack or do you dry them? I never dry my dishes. <laughs> Going of course. All right, so we also have some pepperoni. Things this appropriate. Pepperoni. Lovely. Some pork products here. Uh, we have some chicken mortadella for sandwiches. Perfect. This kind of got destroyed, but... Oh, they only give you three. Three. Oh, there's only three. Again, I'm bad at math, but if there's only three, and there's two of them, that leaves one yogurt. Oh my god, it's going to be a fight to the fupa over who gets the third one. My money's on Chantel. Strawberry Greek yogurts. <laughs> Do you guys like organizing your fridge? I don't. Actually, I don't mind. I like when it's organized. All right. The yogurt's here in the door. Mom, love that. Water, because this is a workout for me. A workout? That, that, let me go back. Again, I'm not good at counting. Let me just count the steps. I am the count, and it's time for the number of the day. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Maybe, maybe it look. maybe it's bigger than I think. Maybe it's a longer journey than it seems on camera. So let me just, one shuffle, two shuffle, three, four. Four shuffles, Chantel. Then she's got to do four shuffles back, so that is technically actually eight shuffles. My bad, sorry. Eight yeah. shuffles, it is actually, a workout. Like All right. The yogurt's here in the door. Eight shuffles, wow. Grab a water. Break a sweat. Because this is a workout for me, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a workout for me because, you know, my body's going to give up. That's so funny, Chantel. You're so funny. Alright, sour cream. Oh, nice. Fresh yogurt. Huge tub. Wh okay, like lovely. A dollar sure. <laughs> Maybe they won't need to fight for the okay. super of the yogurt. We have some mozzarella cheese. 500 grams of that. So one big bag of mozzarella cheese. Perfect. Thank you. We have some butter. Four packs. Four packs I think it's of butter. butter. Okay. The two people, sure. Frozen. Four <laughs> chicken sausages. So four packs of butter is fine. Four sausages, we have a problem. That's not enough. Okay. Noted. Six. Noted. This is a small what? I need bigger bags here. <laughs> small bags. So she's upset by the size. So she does have the big bag of mozzarella, guys. So she did order two bags of cheddar cheese, not knowing how small they were. So she, I guess she expected them to be bigger. So that's three packs of cheese now between two people. And she's disappointed. So it was meant to be three bigger packs. But we've... You know what? Maybe these grocery people know you, Chantel. Maybe they're trying to save your life. Maybe they're trying to do their part um, and save you from another chip to the cheese graveyard by giving you the smaller bag. You know. Cheddar cheese. Two things of Philadelphia. I'm going to be making okay. a no-bake cheesecake with you guys. 
So. so I am behind. So this video, again, I was posted on the 1st of November. And today it is currently the 13th. So 12 days ago. Um, she said she's going to be making a cheesecake. We've seen no cheesecake. We are currently cheesecake less. I am keeping my eyes open. There is currently an amber alert for the cheesecake. I have yet to see it. So if anyone does see the cheesecake, could you please let me know? Some cilantro. Lovely. Okay. Oh, that smells nice. Let me put this stuff mm -hmm. away. Work out to the fridge. Let's go. Go on, Chantel. I'll risk it. I got too many things go in on. my hands, but I'll risk it. So I don't have to make two trips. She doesn't want to make two trips because two trips, and again, I don't know math. One trip is eight steps as a round trip. Two trips would be 16 steps. You know, Chantel's really putting in the work here. Beside Harry's salad things, cheese, you go here. Oh. Go on, squat. Sausages. Glad someone's eating some sausage. Cream cheese. Yogurt, oh, that's sour cream. Yogurt. We're gonna put this. Yeah, that oh, that's nice two extra here. steps. And this, I put my dairy on the top shelf with the eggs usually. Okay. Smart. Okay, last bag. My cat will love. I tear off the handles and she goes to town with the bags. <laughs> we give the cat plastic bag handles to play with so she even pulls the handles off so they're easily chewable and digestible for julia love that thank you chantelle we wouldn't want her you know being unable to digest the plastic bags swap icing sugar okay for the cheesecake garlic paste okay brown sugar for the cheesecake vanilla for the cheesecake baking, can you tell? baking powder that's so tiny she's not baked once in 12 days lotus because instead of graham cracker bottom, it's going to be lotus biscuits. Have you ever had those? Oh, yum. She hasn't made it yet. She hasn't made it yet. Black olives. Okay. Beef bouillon. Nice. And Worcestershire sauce. I love this stuff. Hey. So, <laughs> when I'm cooking, like, anything meatloaf, shepherd's pie, beef stew, Worcestershire sauce. Even in bolognese, it's really nice. Anything with... She's cooked none of that in 12 days. Am I missing? Is there... Does she secret cooking channel i don't know about am i confused maybe i'm wrong maybe she has done the bolognese the meatloaf the stew the cheesecake all on her her famous cooking channel i don't know it if someone could link me that'd be great thank you some apple juice okay that's fine i mean i know we've got 30 juice boxes but i apple juice is fine i get it i understand some cream okay some grape juice Okay, so 30 juice boxes, one large apple juice, and some cranberry juice for two people. Okay, sure. No preservatives, right? Grape juice? Sure. Grape juice, my bad. Grapefruit. One grapefruit carton. And a few cranberry juices because these are made. Oh, and. So we currently have 30 orange juice boxes, one large bottle of apple juice, one large grape juice bottle, one small singular carton of, I think it was passion fruit juice, and two small uh, cartons of cranberry juice which brings us to 33 juice boxes and then two bottles of juice also i know you take great care in your dental hygiene so i'm sure all this added sugar will be no match for your teeth and the enamel so i don't i don't know why i'm worried favorite i love them mm -hmm. what's your favorite juice and oh cranberry juice there's four there's two more oh no there's 35 right did i count that right 30 we're at 35 juice boxes so far okay <laughs> So that's part one of the grocery okay. haul. Um, I'm going to finish putting these things away in the covers and things. And okay. when part two comes, which has most of the produce um, and things like that. So, so I'll show you guys part two whenever it gets here. All right. So thanks for, uh, for watching this with me. See Perfect. So we're going to go on to the part two of the video. As I said, all great cinematic masterpieces should be split into two parts. Just for, you know, I don't think we could handle the greatness in one part. It's too much for us to bear. So we're going to move on to part two. This is, again, filmed in the same day. So it's still November 1st. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hi there, beezers. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe you know a special shout I'm not getting paid for this free... I'm not getting paid for this free advertisement of your cameo, Chantel. I'm just going to skip it. Um, You know. No hard feelings. Is that Capri's son? Surely not. 
that feeling when your owners rip up plastic bags to make the pieces more chokeable for you. Great. Oh, glad she's breathing after eating the plastic bags. Is it grocery haul? Am I confused? Am I lost? Am I at the wrong place? Where are you finding goats and leapers? Are we shopping for pets? Oh, that's the last. You didn't film this. Okay. Between both. If we go back, uh, we can clearly see that that is in fact Salah in the reflection. I guess Chantel is still very busy at home. There he is. Hi Salah, thank you for filming the fish for us. So I had a nap in between both. My bad. So I said before, between part one and part two, waiting for the second round of groceries to arrive, I'm sure she was very busy putting them all away. She had a nap. Um, she did do 16 steps earlier, guys. So, you know, that really does take it out of you. Groceries, hauls. This one, I just put my hands on. Oh, Did you have a nightmare? Was the nap that extraneous on your body? Are you okay? This one is, uh, how much was this one? Okay, so. Oh, not gonna tell. Okay, the frozen. Well, she seems not as happy here. Stuff here. Oh. I have some chicken lovers. Those were still Lovely. Out. Well. Oops. Some chicken breast. Okay. Yum. Some sure. frozen strawberries. Lovely. Water. Oh, see, do you know what? I really do think the grocery people know her. The first video that we watched, they gave her the smaller bags of cheese, which I think was just a genuine act of cut. That's God intervening. That's God coming down and being like, hey, bitch, if you had had the large bags, you'd be back in the ER with the cheese shits. That really was God playing a part. And now they're giving you water because they know how out of breath you get walking to the fridge. How lovely. Some water. And some lightly seasoned potato wedges. Yummy, sure. The chicken. Oops, one of the in a bag. Then we have some aloo tiki, which is like an Indian potato. More dish. potato, sure. Some more frozen corn. Okay. Some frozen whitefish. Okay. Got more frozen than I thought. Some super spirals. Okay, so oh, we have fries. we have three bags of potato, three bags of like chips. I'm gonna put three bags. In your bag and call them fries. I'm gonna do chips because I'm not heathen. Three bags of chips. Three bags for two adults. I. Okay. You know what? It's not takeout. That's all I can say. And I like these. So these are vegetables of the day. Oh, yum. Okay. And another random water. So every bag they put a water inside? Okay, well, thank you. All right, You're I'm welcome. You need it. Yellow. Oh, this looks nice. We also have some... Mm. Unidentified mystery meat. It's giving chum bucket. Love that. Superb. All right, apes. Okay. I'm going to do some counting. I'll be right back. So I just counted, so it's 5 per row, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 38, 30 eggs. I did a bit of googling and the sell by day and how long the eggs can actually last while they're good is a bit hit and miss depending on when you're looking. But you're looking at roughly 30 days, so that's a month worth of eggs. So you can have an egg a day and you'd be good. Maybe two, there's two of you, so maybe even like, so an egg a day, you're good for a month, there's two of you. So again, if we're having two eggs a day, which seems perfectly reasonable, an omelette in the morning or something, along with your two juice boxes a day, again, this would last you another 15 days, you wouldn't have to go shopping again. And they would still be in day and perfectly fine. So I don't think we need any more eggs. These were on sale as well. Very cheap. And I like these drinks, but... So we are currently at 34 uh, cartons of juice. I'm not even considering the bottles of juice that she has. I'm going on just grabbable little snack cartons of juice. We're at 34. This is a, a pack of Capri Sun. It's 10. It's over here at the bottom. 10 fun pouches in each box. That's another 10. So 10 Capri Suns. Capri Suns, whatever you want to say. Suns. Which brings us to 44 drinks. For two 40-year-olds. Okay. Sun. Strawberry. One strawberry. Okay. What do you mean one? So, what do you mean one? You Only strawberry, right? The, the camera was giving up like me. And one orange. One orange, another 10. So we're at, so another 10. Which brings us to 55 drink cartons between two adults. 
65. So if you each have one a day, because you probably should have more than that, especially with your teeth, uh, and I know you don't brush, um, that's going to last you about 27 days. You have 27 days worth of juice cartons. It'll be Christmas by the time you're done. <laughs> that's probably, almost Christmas. Christmas. That's fine. Not sure. mine. We have these, like, pre-made things. I don't really like these, but still, I like some. Um, okay. This is a pizza. Cheese and za'atar puff. Nice. And another pizza. Pizza. Okay, sure, sure, sure. I know it's itches. Some marshmallow candy. Okay. Some Reese's. Some three-in-one. This brand okay. I've never tried, but it's supposed to be, like, Nesca. <laughs> Why do you oh seem? Gosh. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like how she seems surprised. I don't. I'm not liking the vibe that she has no idea what's in any of these bags, which is circulating the theory that she's possibly receiving food from the state, which is perfectly fine. But it's a theory that is indeed circulating. What do you think? Little bottle of saffron. We have some seven spices. Baking paper, parchment paper. For the here. cheesecake we never got. Whoa, that's a lot. Oh, can we have a quick funeral service for the cheesecake that was never cooked? Sending up a prayer for the cheesecake. Yeah, yeast. He's mm -hmm. mad. Butter Why are you cream. mad? You add like your cream and stuff separate, but there's all the spices in there already. So okay, we have some madden. We have some. Membrane. I'm praying that's not juice <laughs> at um, this point. You're gonna cry, butter, juice. And some hot dog buns. It's like they knew I would need this water. <laughs> Lettuce. All okay. two kilos of most of the things here. Two kilos of limes. Okay. Okay. I'll be back. We only see roughly, I can see about six in each bag. We can see 12, uh, 12 limes. See, I did some quick Googling. Each lime normally rate. This is like today. Each lime weighs roughly uh, like 70 grams ish, but I'm down on a different source here, and it says roughly one kilogram is about 18 small to medium limes. They look small to medium. She has two kilos, which means she has. This Thirty-six limes. So I'm just gonna write that down. Thirty-six. No, I'm not big on limes. Maybe it's me. Do you eat limes like they're an apple, or are they more of like a side thing? Like you sprinkle it on something, like a lime in a coke, for example. Doing some numbers. She has thirty-six limes. Limes last seven days without being refrigerated. I'm going off the fact that they won't be refrigerated because previously in her last apartment she had just the bowl of lemons and limes and they weren't refrigerated. So you only have seven days to eat these limes before they go bad, which means that she would need to be eating five limes a day. There's two of them, so two and a half limes a day, which seems unrealistic. Maybe. If she does refrigerate them, they can last a month, which would still be more than one lime a day. So for 36, 30 days in a month, you'd have to be eating like one and a bit of a lime a day, which I've never seen this woman eat a lime in my life. I've never seen anyone eat a whole lime in my life. Everything was 75 cents per kilo. So she said she's, all these are two kilos. So I'm going to work on that, that all the things in these bags are two kilos each. She does have three bags of chips, french fries, what you want to call them, but we do have another two kilos of potatoes. Which again, let me do some Googling. So in these bags, I'm seeing, obviously potatoes weigh a lot more. I'm saying that's gonna be about 10 potatoes. And on the counter, not stored at room temperature, they are going to last you a whopping two weeks. Along with the three bags of chips. I think that's doable for Chantel. The lime's not so much. A potato, you could pretty much put in anything. Potatoes, we got four of those because we share. What do you mean you got four? So she, so she has 20. And what do you mean we share? We share with who? You share with each other? I would hope so. It's not one one potato for everyone. One potato to rule them all. Is it really a fight to the death for the potatoes in that household? That's 20 potatoes. I retract my previous statement. Chantel, you made me look like a fool. I defend you and you made me look like an idiot. Thanks. Red onions. Two kilos of red onions. Again, in this bag, one, two, three, four. It looks roughly like six in that bag. Um, like if I'm going off like the oblong shapes. But just doing a double check, roughly it seems that six onions is one kilogram, so 12 red onions. 12. If you don't know, there's a famous serial killer in the UK called Fred West who used to eat an onion like it was an apple. I've seen Chantel's teeth. I don't know if they're up to the biting of an onion. I don't know if they could withstand it, especially after the sugar rot from the 55 juice boxes. She seems a lot less happier with this bag. Whole bag of cucumbers. What do you mean a whole bag? Uh, I need numbers, Chantel. Because Chantel won't show me the whole bag. I have to do this myself. This feels like a math essay question, which I'm not enjoying. Um, this is what all the math lessons were about. They said I would use it in my real life. I didn't think it'd be to be pathetic and petty towards Chantel, but here we are. I'll take what I can get. Roughly each cucumber can weigh around 200 grams. There's 2,000 kilograms. No, wait. Chantel, I'm doing all this work. It hurts my head. I don't like numbers. Okay. 
<laughs> it looks like I'm really bad at math. Guys, I'm an English student, okay? There's a reason. Each cucumber weighs about 200 grams, and there is 2,000 grams in 2 kilograms. So that is roughly 10 cucumbers. Uh, so I did a shelf life check on cucumbers. Cucumbers can last one week on the countertop, two weeks if you keep them in a fridge. So again, you're looking at if you are keeping them on the countertop, at least a cucumber a day before they go bad. This is getting a lot. There's more. She's not even putting them away. She's not even... She's just throwing... She... Oh, there's so much going on. I can't... She's not even putting them away. She's just shuffled over to put them on the side. Which is silly because there's less steps to the fridge. Which then worries me that she's not putting any of these in the fridge. And they're all going to go into a cupboard. Which drastically lowers the shelf life on all of these. So instead of looking like two weeks... Uh, sorry. Instead of looking like at two weeks worth of... Shelf life, we're looking at a week, which I don't like the odds. Um, okay. Cool. What was that? I wasn't paying attention. Eggplants. Two kilograms of eggplants. And a nice smaller amount. So roughly, a eggplant weighs around 300 grams. Again, there's 1,000 grams to every kilogram. So that is, we're looking at about 6.6 .6 eggplants. I'm going to round it up to seven. No, I'll be fine. I'll round it down to six. We're looking at six eggplants. According to Google, we are looking at five to seven days shelf life for an eggplant. At least you won't have to go shopping for a while. I've got how many? Oh, fuck. There's more. There's more. You know what my search history is currently looking like? Like I'm preparing the next season of MasterChef. Like I'm about to stock the stock room. What are you? An idiot sandwich. So I'm going to say roughly there's about 10 tomatoes. Again, tomatoes tend to weigh about 200 grams. There's 1,000 grams per kilogram. She says she's got 2 kilograms of most of these items. 10 tomatoes. They last 5 days in the refrigerator. Do the math. I'm getting sick of it. 2 kilos of carrots. For sake, there's more. I can't. Look at this. This is ridiculous. 2kg of carrots. I'll be right back. This whole video is just going to be jump cuts to me doing math. So carrots weigh roughly 124 grams. There's 1,000 grams per kilogram. We've got 2 kilograms roughly from what I'm going on. We're looking at 16 carrots and the shelf life for a carrot is 3 to 4 weeks in the fridge. Not too bad. That's not too- that's- that's a lot more room than some of the others we're working with here. They can last a bit longer. They can be on the back burner. The backup carrot, if you will. I'm gonna have to find place for this in the fridge after. Alright, well that's about it for this. So I'm gonna try to find somewhere to put these vegetables. Um, also Please put the them in the fridge. And or put them away. Um, but so yeah, that's it. May I make a suggestion? From my numbers, I would suggest the fridge. Otherwise, we're looking at some very short shelf life here that I don't know you're going to get through. Just some advice. For the haul, the grand total was. <laughs> and I really uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And as much as I didn't enjoy making it. <laughs> ah, all right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Uh, Salah, come in. Salah, I'm done filming. You can uh, you can come put these away now. So just to round up, these are the most shocking parts of this video. It's the 55 juice boxes, the 36 limes, the 20 potatoes, the 12 red onions, 10 cucumbers, 6 eggplants, 10 tomatoes, and 16 carrots. I could go a step further and work out roughly the average amount for the average American family, how many fruits and veggies they tend to buy, but I'm not going to do that because that's a level of cycle I've not yet reached. So the video you just watched was filmed on the 1st of November. This is another grocery haul, and you might be wondering to yourself, but we just got like a month worth of groceries. We did. What is the time difference between the video we just watched and this video? I thought it was a lot longer than it actually was, but watching this back, she filmed this video on the 7th of November. I'm excited to see what she's getting six days later to see what she ran out of. Because if you've done 20 potatoes in six days, I don't know how you're breathing. I mean, you're not, barely, but you get what I mean. I'm nervous. I'm sweating. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> hey there, beezers. Want a personalized video You're not getting an ad that you can keep forever? Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want to Bye! I have a pressing question. Why do you need 36 limes? Oh my god, Julia survived the, the trash bags as toys. So glad to hear it. <laughs> Hello guys! Hello! Salam alaikum! <laughs> we have a grocery haul for you. Uh, I say we because I'm gonna say which item it is in English and we thought we'd do something different. We thought you guys would think it would be cool maybe to learn how different things are said in Arabic. You. So I'm going to say the item in English and Salah will say it in Arabic. You mean he thought it'd be good if you learned some Arabic? From behind the camera. So uh, this is just a small grocery haul. This is um, small? from the grocery site where we get some items for the Canadian equivalent of 42 cents. So 95 fills sale and it's about 42 cents. I'll put the um, conversions up here somewhere. So the total of everything was 1080, 165 fills. So I'm going to do the produce. Well, I'm going to do the eggs first here. So um, all right. So first up, we have some eggs. Are you fucking joking? So we have another 30 eggs. We had 30 eggs before, and the shelf life is roughly a month, give or take, depending. So we are now at 60 eggs in a week. 60 eggs. You would need to be eating two eggs a day? 
to get through all their eggs. And that's not even accounting for the difference in the cell by date, whereas like, the first ones will probably go out of date before these ones do. I didn't realise we were living with Gaston. My bad. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. I forgot Salah's a, f a bodybuilder. In Arabic, we call it beard. Beard? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine 30 eggs for about 42 cents. I know, it's crazy. I can't believe it. So I yes. wish all of you could have this sale, but... Again, I haven't seen her make a single egg dish. There must be a secret cooking channel I am unaware of. Yeah, that's really crazy. <laughs> Link me. All right, so this is per kilo, okay? Um... I would like to remind you that six days ago, we bought 12 bread and And today, we have, like, it looks like nine per bag. That's like 11, 12, because that's smaller. I'm going to say 10 per bag. I'm going to, like, round it, right? I'm going to mean it out. 10 per bag. That's, that's 30 onions. That's an onion a day. I've got no words. Uh, you guys remember the shelf life of an onion? Though roughly the shelf life of an onion is one to three months, depending on how you store it. I'm gonna say a month because we know Chantel doesn't store anything properly. There's not a single cool nor dark place in Chantel's entire apartment. The 95 fills per kilo, so we have three kilos of onions. Do you need three kilos bottle. of onions? Yeah. Interesting. Do we need them? He has to be selling these at the. I don't even want to know what this is. I can't even look. He must be selling them at the side of the road. That's the only logical explanation I can come from this, unless she has. A small orphanage of children I don't know about. All right, so we have two kilos of cucumbers. Two kilos. We got 10 cucumbers um, six days ago. They have a shelf life of one week. One week. Uh, so then 10 cucumbers, by the time you film this video, should almost be out of date or a bit mushy by now. And you haven't cooked a single meal with any of them that I've seen. So another 10 cucumbers. I don't even want to add all this up at the end. Look at how I'm holding them. Look, I don't even know the the atomy going on here. I mean, Arabic we call it khiyah. Khiyah. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any I'm going to try to say the word. We have two kilos of tomatoes. Another 16 tomatoes. I'm going to add it up at the end. Another 16 tomatoes. Okay, Chantel. I mean, Arabic we call it bandora. Bandora? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> bandora. Do you like bandora, babe? <laughs> With the salata. Yes. <laughs> salata. Okay. You can imagine if he'd said no. <laughs> They've got over 20 tomatoes. No, I don't, I don't really like them. They're not for me. Hi. All right, we have a kilo of limes. Why? Why the limes? Why the- The woman was too stunned to speak. You have 36 limes in your abode. Um, that was two kilos of limes that she said. So it's half that. So that is 18 limes. I don't think we call it lemon. Lemon. So lemon and lime is all called lemon? Yeah. Oh. And look at these huge <laughs> heads of lettuce. Look at each Fine. lettuce. We I'll give you the lettuce. Yes. Wow. That's cool. Those are massive. I'm gonna put them here for decoration. Yeah. I'm glad they're getting used to something because it isn't gonna be eating. <laughs> Technically, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Syrian oranges. Oranges. It's a wonder she still has four teeth left. Brotica? Yeah. Oh! Many steak, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm say eight, eight oranges. Like some brotica, please. Two kilos. One, two. Yeah. Whoa. We have two kilos of carrots. Another 16 carrots. Jizzar? Jizzar. Sounds weird to you? Yeah. But cool, I like learning, you know, jizzar. We have two kilos of eggplant. Or betanjan. Betanjan? Yeah. Another two kilos of eggplant. Another six eggplant. That looks like more than six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That looks way more than six. I'm gonna say ten. I'm gonna up my numbers. I'm gonna, there's a number change. Hold it. Sit down, guys. We've got a number. We've got a number change. I'm gonna say that's ten eggplants. It looks even more than that, but I'm, I'm gonna lowball. Bitten Yeah. Bitten Oh, that's cool. Bitten jan. And last for the produce, we have three. I know this one. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, you take it. We have you three do. kilos of potatoes. Batata. Batata. <laughs> yeah. Kilos of potatoes. So another thirty potatoes. Okay. Love for you. Oh look, her ring. Hey Chantel, maybe if we weren't buying 36 limes, would we be able to afford a nicer ring? Going on to the junk food. No, I'm just joking. This is open. Looks like a rat. <laughs> Moses. Looks, looks like how he's been chewing on it. <laughs> oh, oh great. Wow. Okay. We have hey, a box of cheesecake mix. Cheesecake. Yeah, the same. We call it. Excuse cheesecake? me? What do you mean a box of cheesecake mix? If I remember correctly, you bought lotus biscuits, two uh Philadelphia pots. Vanilla extract, or to make your own cheesecake. Brown sugar, you bought white, uh, white flour. So why do we have a cheesecake mix? Jibbin. How do you say cake in Arabic? Cake. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cheesecake. Um, 
Yeah, this is interesting. I saw this mix. It's like, I don't know. Let's see what they like. Did you buy this? Ah, blueberry, yeah. So you, all you need is melted butter and milk, and it's like the it comes with the topping and everything. So I'm gonna try that actually. So why did we buy two whole pots of Philadelphia white uh, brown sugar, white flour, vanilla extract, lotus biscuits to make a cheesecake? Um, oh, five liters. I didn't think it was this big, but this is just a degreaser um, cleaner, like all purpose, I guess, degreaser. Your and I'm gonna be using it mostly on the kitchen floor. What do you um, mean the kitchen, the kitchen floor? floor? You don't use the oven, clearly, because we've cooked nothing. How greasy does your floor get? You don't cook. Floor just gets a bit oily, so I just want to use that with the mop. From what? All right, what is this? So we have 1.5 liters of sunflower oil, which I use for frying usually. So just inject that right into your veins. Is that Ellie? Yeah. Oh, okay. Inject it. <laughs> so that means for frying, oil for frying. Exactly. Okay. Oh, the good bag. Cheese. Oh, there's Good more cheese. cheese. There's more cheese. That's another bit of cheese. Bit of cheese. Come on. Bit of cheese. I'm gonna stop crying. Oh. Jubin what? Jubnat crema. Jubnat crema. Oh, okay. Crema sounds exactly like creamy, kind of. <laughs> Very close. And we have a bottle of a ranch Fine. dressing and dip. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not. At this point, I'm expecting her to pull out another bag of limes. Truly. There's no water to try. <laughs> there's no Yeah, just ranch sauce. Ranch sauce. Just ranch with like an accent, right? Yeah. Ranch sauce. <laughs> ranch sauce. <laughs> ranch sauce. <laughs> all right, hon. You're gonna like this bag. It's all the sweets. Oh, and you like the bag with the limes. So Lars gonna like this bag. I prefer the lime bag, but he prefers the sweet sweet limes. One of us is six hundred pounds, and one of us isn't. I think we know who prefers the sweet bag. Tortilla. Yep. All right, and we have some fresh tortilla bread. Or in Arabic, I hope the tortilla powder. I won't be repeating that, but. <laughs> A little bag of barbecue pretzels. <laughs> she did not know the size of that bag. She thought that bag was a lot bigger. Small. Small. What are these? Small. Uh, <laughs> what are these in Arabic? This one is a biscotti mella in Mashawi. Why Mashawi? Uh, salty biscuit. Oh. Barbecue sauce. Oh, okay. Very barbecue cool. is Mashawi. Yeah. Ah, nice. <laughs> salty biscuits, <laughs> yes. All right, so we have some cupcakes, which were 95 fills each as well. So what do you call these in Arabic? Uh, we say it's uh, the same. Cupcake. Cupcake. Okay, what about the flavor? We have chocolate vanilla. Chocolata vanilla. Chocolata vanilla. <laughs> okay. All right, sure. so I'm going to try one of these on camera. I'm just glad it's not a lime curious. at this point. We'll have one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, thanks. Oh, they're not going to eat a lime on camera. You know, the lime that's going to go bad in seven days. Seven days. Seven days? But we'll eat the cupcake, the prepackaged cupcake that could survive a nuclear bomb. We're going to eat on camera. But yeah, the 36 limes, we're, we're not going to eat them on camera. Thanks for your help, babe. It was very interesting to hear what these items sounded like in Arabic, actually. No problem, babe. My pleasure. <laughs> All right, let's try this cupcake. You want chocolate or vanilla? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll split in half. It smells okay. She's like, hey, I'm kidding. You're having none. <laughs> oh, they're half and half. Oh, that makes more mm. sense. Go and give him the other half. Hand it over. A little dry, but moist. Like, they Hand it over. Better. Chantel? Let go with the other half, hand it to Salah. Hmm. All right. Okay. No, okay. So that's... <laughs> so that's the haul, that's the video. So that's you our mini haul. Wash it, we... down, wash it down with a lime or maybe one of your 55 juice boxes. If it's if the muffin was a little dry. We'll have a lot of other things to get, like meat and stuff. What do you mean you've got other things? That... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. At the other grocery store. But uh, we'll get that. Six we'll get that days. soon. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay. Enjoy the elevator music while I do some math. Wait there. The results are in. So I've only commented on the ones that I thought were extreme and absolutely insane. And here we go. So from the 1st of November to the 7th of November, Chantel purchased 54 limes, 50 potatoes, 20 cucumbers, 20 eggplant, eggplants, 60 eggs, 55 juice boxes, four different packets of cheese, 26 tomatoes, 12 red onions, 30 plain onions, 
32 carrots and 8 oranges. From the 1st of November to the 7th of November, she cooked one homemade pizza with the dough she said she didn't like and was for Salah. A homemade butter chicken and naan bread with none of the vegetables that she has bought, not a lime in sight. A meatloaf cheesy scalloped potatoes and a poutine. And between that, between the 7th and the 1st, she ate out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times. It's a loss to me as to why she's a bedbound bigot. Really, I've got no idea. But thank you guys so much for doing this week. My brain hurts. Um, that's <laughs> the math I did. I was hunched over at my desk like I was doing my GCSEs. So... That's been 36 limes. You've been you. I've been milky. Go eat a lime. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.